good. You're super narrow there. Yeah. Um, it looks really good. What you got going on is you're kind of pressuring the front of the ski a little bit to turn, which makes the ski turn great, but then you have to relieve that pressure and then you go to here and now you're like this and then you have to lean and that's all got to happen in the little span of what you're when you're going around the ball. What I'd like to see you do is I'd like to see you commit when you get to the ball to move this way to the inside without moving forward. So try to make your ski do this more than you make it do this, this, then this, then this. Do you understand? Okay, so tip pressure equals turn, but then you have to relieve the tip pressure or else it's gonna buckle you at the finish of the turn, especially as the speed goes quicker or the rope goes shorter, okay? So I want you to think that you're not gonna move forward on the ski, you're gonna move to the direction that you wanna go, which is to the inside of the ball, and then let your ski finish between you and the boat more so that turn and lean becomes more seamless. Everything's like one smooth movement back towards the weight. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do the same or shorter? I had planned to ski two sets, I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to. brought your arms in when you were going across the wakes into three and that buckled you forward and then it sent you on that kind of straight line when you're going straight you got to go on the front of this heat okay. you're going well we're looking for this we know that when you're behind the boat you want to be like this so we're looking for this to happen See how seamless that is? If I do it this way, my ski's gonna turn, and now I can't ex I can't pull like that. I gotta go to here, relieve it, and then I gotta go to here. And I want you to come into the ball and let yourself be here as you go around the ball. So when you put your hand back on, we're ready to go. Does that make sense? Okay. We going shorter? We don't want her, she's already missed a couple days of school and we don't want her to miss anymore, so. I like it. Good. Nice. Better? Good. It's awesome. That was very, very good. When she's on fire. We're going shorter? Okay. Yeah. What do you mean, what the heck? Do you not run this easily? She does. Well, she's closed because she's, she's, sorry, she's uh, buckling because she's bringing her arms in a little bit. Yeah. Oh. oh. That was a really weird turn. Six, eight, what? Six, nine, one, zero? Okay. Um, the reason that happened is because you loaded up the tip of the ski a little bit and you leaned your body to the inside. So we had double whammy that time and then all of a sudden pop, it came out and it actually, watch it on video, it actually went back in. I know, I thought I was, I was thinking I could maybe pull it out. Yeah, I've seen people do it before, but it's like the next little yank on the rope is either it or you're going out. So it was good you let go. But trust that you don't have to push on the ski and you don't have to load the tip of it. The edge angle and the rollover that you're getting from the ski at the ball is what's gonna make it finish back around in front of you. You just gotta trust it a little bit.
is what you're looking for. Like you're not going to stay level at the ball. Okay. When you're level at the ball, well, I mean, what's your ski doing if you're level? Fine. Right. So then what are you going to do to make a turn? Go forward. Right. Okay. It's a result. Okay. It's oh, like the forward is a result because the ski's not coming back in. If I'm coming into the ball, I change my edge. I'm like this. And as I'm reaching, I'm doing this. My ski's telling me, yeah, 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 you're going to turn, you're going to turn. If I'm coming into the ball straight up and down over top of it, yeah, my ski's going, hey, come on, come on, come on, come on. So you go forward and then rotate your shoulders back to the inside to make a turn. So the only thing you have to work on is keeping your posture straight. And then as you're letting your feet go out, just leaving your body to the inside so that when your ski hits its widest point, it's like this and not like that. Okay? Are we going to stay at 28? Okay.